we have the Danville Christian Lady Warriors, head coach Billy Inman, student athletes Gracie Mbugwa. We have also Paisley Metz, Braxton Heck, and Emily Musasi. Coach, comment. Well, I just told him this might be one of my favorite games that I've ever coached because uh, stripped us away. It seemed like just about everything that first half. Um, and without Baby, obviously the performance Baby was having was just unbelievable. And she went out and I was really worried that they were just gonna crumble and fold against such a veteran, unbelievable team. And instead they did what I've asked them to do all year. They glorified God with their effort and their attitude and they were just amazing. I told them in there, I could not be any more proud of these kids if we'd have won the game. And I feel like it's a privilege to get a coach. I'm, I, I always say coaching is a profession. I'm a volunteer. Uh, I might be the best in my price range, but they, they honestly, that, that performance probably deserved a better coach. But I, I counted it a privilege to be out there coaching. Question? Yeah, the opening of that third quarter, the stretch there, where I mean, that's kind of, you talk about crumbling, that's kind of maybe where that started to happen. What do you think, any of the girls, you're going to talk about this too, just where do you think that come from to dig in and, and come back like you did? Well, I mean, I'm probably going to sound like a holder of it, but honestly, it just, uh, their faith, when they have a faith, and, and honestly, it's really for them, it's about the mission at DCA. They were out there today when they could have just been having fun or whatever, and they're spending time with the little ones, the little four, five, six, seven-year-old girls trying to mentor them, trying to do this because they want the mission of DCA to grow. They see what it does in kids' lives, and they carry this burden really heavy. And, and I'm telling you, you can tell in with well, their comments during the timeouts, that's what they were worried about. They wanted to glorify God, their effort, their attitude, even though everything was going wrong. And just the battle, I mean, I just was amazed. I just couldn't believe it. I mean, you guys can speak to it. I mean, yeah, we just, we talked about it in the locker room. We were just like, we're going to have to come out. We're going to have to play where baby's not not going to be able to do as much because she had four fouls going into the third quarter. And um, I think through God, we just all stepped up, and he really uh, gave us the power to just push through when, when it was so hard. Um, personally, just asking God for boldness, not to play scared and to start, even though I, even though I have four fouls, just going out there not thinking about the if I'm gonna get a call uh, foul call to me just going out there giving it my giving it my all just glorifying God through everything that I do that's all I can do um, I say we pray before after every time out um, it helps a lot because it like kind of makes our brains go back to like focused and um, yeah we won't be with that call um, I'm just glad we got to glorify God today, and even though we were losing, I had this peace that God has a reason for everything, and I'm just glad we got to glorify Him, and He will see today. Right here on the corner. Coach, I think you talked about this on Monday, but um, just how smart Grace is playing that entire second half with four fouls. Well, I grabbed her. She was hurting. I told him, I said, listen, go to the parents. Go to ever blame me uh, for calling that timeout with a minute 20. Um, the play I called was horrible. It didn't work at all. Um, but uh, I, I grabbed her. She was crying. I grabbed her and I said, I've been watching tournament basketball since I was five years old. My dad would literally drive me back and forth from St. John's Arena in Columbus, Ohio to Rupp to down here. I remember driving all through the night to watch Richie Farmer uh, uh, play uh, uh, <coughs> was so good. I Alan, Houston. Alan Houston, thank you. And then turning right back up and driving up uh, to, to Columbus, Ohio again, I've seen this unbelievable amount of tournament games, and I thought that was the gutsiest uh, performance I'd ever seen. In the back and up front. Hey, Billy, two things. One, 
where did the nickname Baby come from? Because she didn't exactly play like a baby. And then two, you talk about all the games you've seen. Have you ever seen anybody have a better first quarter no. than what she had? Well, the answer is definitely no. The, the nickname Baby came, when she came, she was 12 years old. I still remember seeing her passport. She's 5'8", 12 years old, and she's knobby knee, didn't weigh anything. And uh, we would just always say, oh, it's the baby, it's the baby. And it just stuck, and she's been baby ever since. She's the baby of the family. And um, and it's on the back of her senior jacket. I mean, no one calls her Grace. But when I call her Grace, and once in a while I call her Grace, she looks at me like, what are you doing from baby? So it just stuck, it just stuck. Right here, then we'll have one more question, that's it. Grace, a year ago, would you have been able to stay in the game through the second half the way you did and, and not pick up a fifth foul? Uh, definitely not. Um, I think this uh, coach mentoring me saying keep, to keep my head up and play, forget the last play and play through the next play, and just knowing that God's will is being done and that's all I can do. So, yeah. Last question here in the middle. Coach, just the, the decision to go back with Grace there with three fouls in the first half, is, is that something normal for you guys and just kind of roll the dice there or what? Well, honestly, she's only fouled out of one game all year. So it's extremely rare for that to happen. But I looked at uh, assistant John Meyer and I said, well, Johnny, I said, if we want to have a second half, we got to put her back in now. Um, she, I mean, she does everything. She helps break the press. You know, she's three, she posts up, she steals the ball, she does that stuff. And I didn't want to, I wanted to have a second half to play for. And so I rolled the dice, you know, I'm not gonna comment on the, on the, on the call, but uh, you know, I looked at her and I said, hey, I'm darn proud of you. I thought it was the right play. Uh, don't beat yourself up. And, and because she doesn't need to, when she does something stupid, I'll, I'm sure to call her out. And she, she's tough to take it. But I, I was very proud of uh, just the, I thought she played it smart, honestly. So yeah, but it, it would not be unusual because she is what she is to the team. Coach Jimmy, congratulations to you and the Danville Christian Lady Warriors on a great season. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, ladies. You. Thank you, God bless guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot.